Hello, my friends. Thanks for joining me. It's Poet WP. Uh, just wrote a poem, and I felt like making the video right away. I, uh, anyway, let's read the, oh yeah, and this is, of course, is Alex Gray's art. I'm often promoting Alex Gray because I really enjoy his art. I find it fascinating and beautiful and intricate and interesting, you know. And like I've mentioned in previous videos, when I lived in New York, I had the privilege of meeting him when he opened uh, a gallery and when he had his full moon greetings back in the day, or full moon gatherings. They would do like a guided meditation and um, a nice little wine and cheese kind of shindig. It was pretty groovy. And uh, Alex Gray is a really interesting guy. I talked to him about William Blake, uh, the poetry of Blake. He, too, was very fascinated with Blake being a mystic. And uh, that was that was amazing. Shout out to Alex Gray and Allison Gray and, and, and um, Zena, who I think is an actor now, actually, an actress. Anyway, get on to my poem. Uh, this is called Take the Slack Out of Your Jaw. The rope a dope winds derange a pleasant distraction for the tarnation of the masses. Desperation shifting, slipping, cutting cords, dissolving bonds of disillusion. Their scales were, con were contaminated by irradiated, angry, lost souls. The channel has been opened. The stone has been moved. Confined dystopian myths. You forgot about greed, you dummies. Now it's all you are. Endless desire leads to hell. Every goddamn time. As sure as a bullet. <laughs> true, though. It's very true. When you over-desire... You take more than you need, and you deprive from others, therefore cause suffering. Now, each of us needs different things, different amounts of things, perhaps. Perhaps you need emotional things for emotional reasons, sentimental reasons, what have you. But there comes a point when you're seeking wealth... Well, it's not about having 50 Ferraris and uh, 75 Lamborghinis and 80 Porsches and 12 houses all over the world. It's, uh, once you get into the, you know, half a billion, billion range, for those people, it's about controlling the world. Because that's what they do with their money. So... That's why everything's so fucked up. It's really that simple. So until you get the money out of politics, none of these crooked bastards really were ever going to serve the will of the people that elected them too much. They'll serve the will of the corporations that bought their asses. That's what people are waking up to. They're tired of it. So, that's why there's going to be a big blue tidal wave and the progressives are going to, over a course of two or three election cycles, completely change the game forever. Because at this point, it's either change for the greater good for of all of us or perish. We got like a 10-year window of the climate change situation. We need to like put all our efforts towards that and now Trump's going in the other goddamn direction like full steam ahead uh, none of your ideas are gonna ma mean shit if the world kills us all <laughs> uh, you know I don't even have children and I wouldn't have a child it's too risky given who knows for all you people that have children, 
you still think China it's a myth? Like some kind of hoax? No, it's real. It, it will, your children won't have a place to live. We don't change the ways. We got like a 10 year window or so. So, so the scientists say. In the suffering, in the wars. Reform the, the uh, prison system. I'm a sociologist. I'm a poet. And a mystic. We have to start acting in compassion, in my opinion. Starts with compassion. Empathy. At first, it may take a lot of bravery to be kind when you want to be angry and mean. But the more you do it, the more gratifying it becomes. Until it becomes something that you uh, crave and insist upon doing. It's all a matter of... uh, Changing your thought patterns. Finding peace within your own self and forgiving yourself. Allowing yourself to feel, to be, to express. And not cause harm. Or at least, you know, sometimes we make mistakes. Sometimes we cause harm when we don't mean to. Well, when you do that, that's inevitable. You just got to learn from it. Try not to do it again, you know? You fall off the horse countless times. That doesn't mean you don't get back up on the horse. You get back up on the horse and you keep going forward. You don't give up the fight. You don't give up your dignity or your grace. You don't give up your integrity for their fiat paper. Manipulates everything. Money can buy comfort, but not 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 true happiness. It can buy happiness for some to a degree, but you can't take any of that with you. You Can serve mammon, money. You can serve the spirit. You can serve your greater good. You can't serve, you can serve both, but you got to serve one over the other. If you put money above the greater good and that of compassion. uh, Yeah, that's super bad mojo. Anyway, I guess I'll quit rambling now. So, in closing, as I say often, I will just say, you know. Be good, as E.T. says. (laughs) Okay, catch you later.